Hi Aquarius, um, we're going to go ahead and get right into this reading. Once again, it is very, very general. I did pre-shuffle um, in this reading, so I did grab a couple cards beforehand. You know, I did meditate on the energy a little bit, and we're just going to go ahead and get right into it. Also, if you need to book a personal reading, you can definitely do that. Um, everything you need to know about me is down below. Give me one second. Uh, I'm just trying to look for this. Here we go. Um, so, before we get into this reading, this is what I'm going to say. Be careful what you wish for. You must learn to love yourself before you can truly love another person. When a healthy behavior or obsession does not serve you, dig deeper to uncover the truth. Somebody is projecting doubts and fears onto you. Right? But it's so funny. I was just looking at myself in the mirror, drinking my water and stuff like that. And what's going on right now? Let's talk about it. I'm gonna pull some cards and stuff like that but we're gonna start with charms but right now aquarius you have people here who are trying to project onto you right but the thing is that the reason why you're seeing this message the reason why you hear one 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 is because these projections are a little bit different okay um i see aquarius you're somebody here who this group of you guys you have a high faith okay i'm also hearing a high something with a high turnover rate or high success rate, okay, high death rate, uh, things, things, these things could be a significance, okay, um, but right now, when it comes to the projections that people are throwing on you, you need to know that when it comes to projections, these are not your thoughts, these are not your feelings, this is not, like, anything to do with you, this is just to do with motherfuckers who keep projecting onto you, all right, um, but, you know, I feel like you could be protecting your peace right now. You could be having your self-love and you're just accepting things for how they are. Accepting all the moving pieces either in your life, in certain dynamics, in situations you can and cannot control. Um, and I feel like what's going on, there is somebody here who feels lost. They feel unhealthy. They feel toxic. They feel alone. Or they feel like they have no control over, like, their path their life their health like this is somebody here who they possibly could be atheist or even if they aren't um in some type of like religion or you know something of the sort this is somebody here who has a lot of moving parts in their life that like they're trying to iron out or like they keep trying to be on top of or take care of or you know they have a lot of responsibilities or things they should be responsible for. This could be somebody here who has kids. Or they have, um, I don't know. They would be taking care of somebody who has health issues. Or somebody here who, like, they have a lot of things that they're responsible for. Or people they're responsible for. Or a lot of responsibilities, period. Okay? And this person or these people keep projecting on you. And trying to make you accept their role or accept their vision their lifestyle their perspective accept their destiny or like accept their energy in some type of way okay and i feel like this is somebody here who like you could be satisfied with your life satisfied with your vision or you know you could be like complacent you could be happy or you could just be vibing being a human you know three 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 having this spiritual experience you know kind of just taking it for what it is not taking it for granted but taking it what it is day by day and not really letting that overshadow things or not really letting that um control you or making you feel some type of way okay and there was somebody here who is projecting on you guys at an astonishing rate um this could be somebody who like you're parallel to them like somehow you know how when you pull up to a light and you know barbie could also be significant okay as well but you know how you pull up to a light and it's like you're in the middle lane there's somebody in the fast lane it's somebody in the right lane and you're in the middle lane right and this is somebody here you know how you watch courage the cowardly dog and there's that one dude who's always being mean to courage the asian man he's like watch out your boo or your fool like your fool okay like this is somebody who has energy like that but, like, they be projecting on you and shit, Aquarius, okay, because of the shit that they have to go through, the responsibilities they have, or they feel like the weight is on their motherfucking shoulders, and they feel like your life is easy, it's carefree, or, like, even if it's not that, or even if it's very tumultuous, you can be seeing 444, 333, um, you don't make it seem that way, or you just accept it for what it is, and realize that things are going to be better, or you may realize that each 
and every decision whether you take one decision or multiple decisions they can all transform or change your destiny and i feel like you have faith in yourself a high power your spiritual team or faith in your destiny or faith in what's going on and this is somebody here who like um if you don't live like if you don't have your own rent or you don't pay a whole bunch of bills or you don't have a lot of debt or you know even if you do or even if you don't it's like this is how this person feels about you like they feel like you don't have any true responsibilities like you're not a true adult or you don't have the same weight of the world or, or shit that they deal with like you don't have to deal with that okay and i thought what's going on this could be somebody here who like all they worry about is money. All they worry about eating. You know, all they worry about stepping on people's toes. Or like, this could be somebody who feels like, you know, by humbug. Like, people don't feel how they feel. Like, this person could be, like, the Grinch. Like, they're super toxic, super nasty. Um, or, like, this person could be coming with that heat. And, like, the heat is, like, this person has so much heat on them. Five, five, five. All right? I feel like, yeah, don't rush. Like, you may know, like, not to rush the process or not, like, rush to get shit done. Okay, but this person's projecting on y'all. I'm really not liking the energy at all. I'm really not. I'm going to go ahead and pull some five cent tarot on this. <sighs> but, like, you could be feeling, like, stressed. You could feel tired. You could feel anxious. You could feel as if, like, you're drowning or you're swamped with certain shit. Or, like, there's not enough hours in the day. Or, like, you can't, like, manage certain things. Your rituals and routines not working for you. Your scheduling or the time you said you was going to do this is not really aligning or whatever it is. And I fell out with a chariot card. Um, whoever this is, the person who's um, projecting on you, um, they feel as if you live a very uncontrolled life. They feel as if you're very reckless or you're very indecisive. And you don't have to make decisions here. You don't have to call the shots. Or, like, you don't have to have determination to see where you're going and then go there. This person thinks that you're very impulsive. Um, they may also think that, like, you could literally be angry or, like, with you, when you, with you, when you're angry, you're just angry. And I feel like people don't, it's like they don't have, they may not even have emotional um, outlet or, like, this is somebody here, like, if they're angry or upset, they just have to be angry or upset or, like, they're mad at the fucking world. Like, they're mad at the world or they're mad because of their own miserable things they have going on or what they're plagued with, their responsibilities or all this stuff they have going on in their life. But, like, this person wants to project this energy onto you. But I feel like this is, like, giving mirror work. This is, like, giving, like, mental projection this is also giving like astral projection like fucking with you while you in your sleep or like scrying okay you're trying to view you through another portal outlet while you're sleeping here or whatever it is um this is somebody here who they feel like you're uncertain of life you have released yourself from any inhibitions or you're just like a free floater you know even if you're not like that this is how they view you okay and i feel like whoever this person is <laughs> They want somebody to celebrate them. They want somebody to see their achievements or um, whatever they're trying to achieve, whatever they're trying to get done, whatever responsibility they have. It's like one thing after another. It's like, you know how you pay your bills and then boom, your car note start, your car starts acting funny. And when you get your car together, boom, you got to pay for your hair appointment. You have to pay for your hair appointment, boom, something breaks. And da -da -da. like it's like this person has a lifestyle or they feel like life is just always something going on. Like it's always something literally. And I feel like they were projecting on you because either you don't have that same mindset or, like, your life does not look that way, contrary to popular belief, or even if it is that way. They don't view you that way. This person could be, like, super pessimistic here. Super pessimistic, super nasty, super sad. They they give loser, like, loser energy, low energy. There's somebody here who feels like, you know, um, you live the luxuries of life or, like, you get to have life as your oyster, all right? But I feel like with the five of swords, this person is somebody here who, like, they may even try to, like, get into it with you, argue with you, disagree with you, um, take things out on you um, in the physical or even spiritually. Like, I don't know I'm seeing somebody do like this. Like, like. That's confirmation. All right. And I feel like whoever this person is who's projecting on you, like with the emperor card, this could be a person like in a plate in a in a position of power, a position of authority, or like they feel like they wear the fucking pants when it comes to life. Also, the movie Big Fish could be a significance, okay? Um, but yeah, like this is somebody like that, and I feel like the nine of wands, okay, the page of cups person may feel like they always have to be resilient, they always have to have a strong will. 
um, they can never be curious or like live life in a certain type of way and you can this person may also use you as a scapegoat but this person is like projecting going heavily right now you need to be um protecting your energy making sure you have your wards up and things i literally just pulled this card out the bag y'all seen that i didn't even look or nothing this motherfucker is projecting on y'all like real motherfucking bad real motherfucking heavy and i feel like this person like you know how everybody has their american dream or you know whether you're american or not whatever your country is whatever's going on the dream that you know who you aspire to be what you aspire to have how you aspire to have your life you live your life whatever it is okay oh yeah i'm sorry i just i just woke up not too long ago um but yeah, I feel like this person here wants you to be like ashamed or they want you to be like fearful. Or they want you to like be in this energy. And this person's been doing this for a couple months. Like this isn't like no brand new shit. This person's been projecting on you for a long time. And for some of you guys at first, you may not have realized it. And then for other of you guys, you may have realized something's been off for a while. Um, and you're not sure what the fuck is going on. This could be also somebody here who like they could have believed like, they could have tried to be spiritual or tried to, like, get out of the matrix or try to, like, change your mindset or, you know, whatever the fuck is going on. But it's like it didn't work for them. Or, like, they still felt like life was still cruel and unusual to them. They was going through punishment or, like, whatever it is. Like, somehow, some way, I thought this person may, like, not be religious at all, too. Or, like, whatever they believe in religiously or whatever type of shit they got going on like this is like a product of their environment what they have going on but this person who's like projecting on y'all i just feel like they're mad at your purpose like you know everybody's purpose is different everybody's path is different everybody's life is different and this person could be mad at you because of your purpose or like what you have going on like doesn't align with what they have going on i feel like also um this person may be with somebody here who like you're very, very loyal to things that make you feel compassionate, things that make you feel free things that make you feel loved or give love or receive love or things that are made out of love or just shit like that like i feel like they feel as if like you don't have a past or like you know whatever your past is you don't let that define you or like they might feel like you didn't go through shit at all regardless of how you look regardless of who you are regardless of everything okay but yeah this is somebody here who they're not grateful yeah like this person's not grateful for like their life or like they're not grateful for what they have or like they are very like a very mean spirited person like i don't know what they got going on this person is like extremely mean spirited aquarius and this purpose card just keeps on coming out like i feel like this you may also be around this person or may even be about to be around this person in the in the reality or in the 3d yeah but this person is like projecting on you so bad to the point where it's like at first it was little small things about you that could have pissed them off or like the more that they analyzed you the more they thought about you the more that they looked at you the more that they wanted to humble you the more they wanted to put you in your place or put some type of discipline on you here or like project these things on you to like you know how when dogs pee on the carpet and people like rub their noses into the carpet like yeah you're peeing here and uh, uh, thinking that that's going to help but like it really doesn't help at all okay yeah i thought this person is committed to like trying to make you cooperate with the projections that they're trying to project onto you to make you like plant these seeds or like accept you in a way to where you think this is your reality or like you respond negatively or like you create this unknowingly or knowingly um your reality or you make something your reality they're going through so you can like feel their pain all right for some of you guys here um i feel like it's why you can't like like go their past or past trans transgressions or like they just can't let certain shit go but this person's like willing to do whatever it takes for you to like taste their poison feel their pain rub your nose and something humiliate you embarrass you or like you know how somebody has like went through hell like you know how you have a parent or somebody who goes through hell and like instead of them helping you or instead of them giving you the leg up or not making you go through what they went through like they enjoy watching you struggle they enjoy watching you go through hardships or enjoy projecting this on to you all right thinking that's gonna make you stronger wiser or like whatever it is yeah eight of pentacles like this is definitely somebody who thinks they're like a master of some sort or 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 like they've mastered something or gotten through something or something they experienced here they've gotten out and now this person like taking the initiative to like put you in the place of them like empathy empathy put yourself in place of me like this is how they want you to be or this is what they want you to feel i'm also hearing that song what a life 
I'm steady, always on the go. You steady, losing all control. Everything sweet ain't sugar coated. It's been on. It's by Janae Aiko or Jean Aiko. The song is not called "What a Life," but I can't remember what the fuck the song is called. Maybe it is called "What a Life." Um, but I just feel like whoever this person is, King of Wands, just like they're doing this in a very distasteful way. And this could be somebody here as well who like with the full card. They feel like you feel froggy, you always sleeping, or like it's like their own reckoning of some type of sort. Six of Pentacles. And I feel like, you know, they may be like a social outcast or they have like a issue dealing with people, working with people, um, being in the same environment of people or like doing nice charitable things or, you know, more importantly, Five Pentacles, helping people with their hardships. Like this person intensifies people's hardships or intensifies certain shit or likes to teach people a lesson. All right. For some type of reason. But I feel like with the Ace of Cups energy, like you are their next victim. You are their next target or you've been for a couple months. All right, for them to be projecting this shit on you. Three of Wands. Kind of reminds me of Destiny swapping a little bit, but it's like this person genuinely enjoys like three of Wands trying to like stifle you in your progress or like change your trajectory or where you're going or your path or what you're experiencing or, you know, what's being foretold of your destiny with the Nine of Pentacles because. There's somebody here where, like, you're supposed to live the luxuries of life. You're supposed to be happy. You're supposed to be accumulating a lot. You're supposed to be having those uh, free-spirited um, energies, nomad energies, free-falling energies, ten of swords. And I find this person, like, is trying to end that for you by projecting all of their dirty little gunk on you. Okay? Yeah, just feel like whoever this person is who's projecting going to you guys. This is somebody here who, like, they may have, like, tried to analyze you and, like, figure out your sensitivities. It's going to be, like, people, places, things, sugars, food, allergies, etc. here. And, like, this person is doing this shit intentionally. Okay? Yeah, I feel like you can detoxify this person from your life or their energy. Like, heavy heart chakra vibes. Heavy heart chakra vibes here, babe. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, I feel like you're supposed to be fortunate or like all the fortunes or like the uh, beautiful, nice things that life, the life lovingly presents to you, your spiritual team, etc. That you're lovingly being presented or you get to experience or uh, whatever it is due to your individuality, due to your purpose, due to you, you know, just vibing all the beautiful things that come with life. I feel like there's just somebody here who like wants to own you or like wants you to like they don't respect you. They don't want you to have any respect for yourself. They don't want to respect you or like. It's like so many different moving parts of this reading, which is actually very crazy. Um, I just feel like this person feels like if you go through the same responsibilities as them, you'll transform or like be somebody that they couldn't. Okay, I'm also hearing JT say, bitch, go, go do something. Go be somebody. Go clock in somewhere. Like, like imagine hearing that and you're like an artist or you're an entrepreneur or like you work for yourself. Like, there's somebody who's trying to like force that shit on you, like force, force priorities or certain shit on you or project these into your life so that like, you feel like this is the norm or like you take them on as your own or like, you know, um, you in turn sometime, some, somehow help them with something they're internalizing here or something of the sort. But... I feel like you need to use discernment. Like, this is somebody here who doesn't want you to have, like, gratitude for life or, like, feels as if... I won't say you take life for granted, but, like, not in a negative way, but this person just views you as somebody here. Like, you're not doing shit with your life. Like, I don't know. It's, like, one of those weird-ass, judgmental-ass energies. I'm not really, like, fucking with it. I'm not fucking with the vibe. I'm fucking with the energy. And, like, this is somebody here who's, like, going out of their way or, like, they keep going out of their way to project onto you. So, like... The certain fortunes of life, the certain things you're lucky enough to have or to experience, to hold, to drink, to eat, people that you're lucky enough to meet. Um, you know, some people are lucky enough to not have to work a nine to five and, you know, have their passion fund their whole lifestyle or they, they find something they're really good at, they like, and that's the end of that and they make a career out of it. But it's not really career, it's just them living life and, you know, having a lustful life. And then some people are people who work nine to five and you work six or seven days of the week and you come home you have to deal with your kids or have to deal with this going on your home life your this life your that life and all these things are so much there's so many different responsibilities so much going on yada 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 that it's a never-ending pantheon of shit and like this is somebody here whose life is like that and it's why they project onto you because they feel as if you're just i don't know i'm getting the wonder pets the phone the phone is ringing like 
you have the option to pick up the phone or not, but then they always have to pick up the phone. Or they always have to do something, or always have to address something, or there's something they always have to take care of or something like that. Yeah, I feel like you also may get, like, more sleep than this person. You, you're able to do more self-care for yourself, do more nice things for yourself. You're able to have more peace, quietness in your life, more grace in your life. And I feel like this is somebody here who does not have that luxury. Like, yeah, this is somebody from the community. Like, however the fuck you deal with them, whether you go to church with them, you work with them, you went to school with them, or you're going to school with them now. Um, they're, like, um, a mutual of this person. You have them on social media. Whatever it is, like this is somebody like that. Okay. Yeah. And also I feel like this person thinks they're more knowledgeable than you. Like they think that they know more than you, or they think that like, you know, the loving lessons that life has presented towards them on their path, they feel like you should go through this shit too. Yeah, it says keep what you know to yourself at the moment. Your knowledge in this matter will take you far. You know more than you know more than those who oppose you on this. Share your passion for knowledge with others. Read more esoterically themed books. And I feel like you may be into like esoterically themed things or you can be into taboo things or like what works for you is like different. It's the path that's less taken, the road that's less taken or whatever it is. It's very unorthodox or you're a very unorthodox person and that like pisses this person off. And this person is like, have you ever seen the episode of SpongeBob? And he's like, hey, how are you? And he's like, oh my God, SpongeBob, you're, you're normal. He's like, yeah, I'm normal. Like, this was given the episode where like Squidward tried to like project on Spongebob and make him say you're not normal you're not this you're not that da, 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 da. and then Spongebob probably becomes normal he doesn't like the version of Spongebob he is because he's not Spongebob you know um it's like this person wants to like make you or mold you into somebody else that you're not or like try to mold your life into like something that it's not like this shit is weird as hell Aquarius I don't know what the fuck this reading is about but like I feel like what you're seeking or what you're looking for or you know um where your your life or your path is taking you it, it has zero to do with what the fuck this person's talking about what they've experienced or anything like that like there's like yeah yeah longevity i thought this person been doing this for so fucking long to you so it's just like you may feel like you're tired you're not getting enough rest you're stressed out you haven't had time for your self-care you don't have a time to minute to <sighs> breathe or like memories you may be somebody who like you could be thinking about memories where like your life was easier or your life was simple or you know this whatever it is but i feel like you still have that same energy you can still have that same lifestyle but it's this person projecting onto you to make you feel this way or make you view life this way or like have these preconceived uh priorities or like if you're dealing with this person and this is a work situation this could be somebody here who like they intentionally make you like they try to make up shit for you to do or like they always thought like there's a problem with you or they always try to make it seem like um you're not doing enough you're not structured enough you're not disciplined enough you're not kissing ass you're not like on that corporate america bullshit enough or whatever type of matrix ass shit this is yeah, I keep getting this number 139. Um, What number is this? Like, I feel like you have light in your life um, or you have domestic bliss or, um, you know, you're happy or you're full of self-love or you love yourself or whatever it is. But, yeah, we have a shark. This is somebody you should like. They're a shark. They're a fucking preying on you. They're a fucking predator of some type of sort. Like, yeah, this person is definitely dangerous here or, like, they are the ones who think that they're very sly or, like, this is somebody here who tries to who may even try to put you in danger or like put you in jeopardy of something or ruin something for you just because like excuse me somebody who runs their fucking mouth about you talking shit about you um but yeah i just feel like this person puts you in a vulnerable position like you could be very intuitive you have mystical wisdom or like you know the wisdom that is bestowed upon you is what you go by or like you know you live your life to the beat of your own drum and this person's like preying on you okay and they want you in a vulnerable position so they can continue to project onto you and like this is what they're doing here so like <sighs> or they feel like you're just a vulnerable individual period like this person's doing like some type of fucking spell work as well like you know talking or like this whole big ass situation like this is what the fuck they're doing i fucking hate this right now yeah, and it's like, you need to stay away from this person to deal with them in moderation if you truly have to. But, like, they're going full throttle on you and they're being so fucking invasive in your time, your energy, you know, scrying on you, you know, tapping into you. Literally, it's just so much going on here, you guys. I hope I'm not com confusing anybody. 
We have blackberry, rosemary, lavender, witch hazel, and mustard. We have pumpkin seeds, cinnamon, cherries, limes, and mint. We have spells, dancing rods, books, fortune cookies, and we have mirrors. These things could be of significance here, all right? Piece them together however you may. But this is what's going on. Like, what do you need to do? What's going on? Advice for Aquarius. Yeah, I thought like this could be so also somebody here who wants you to get into a car wreck or they've been in a car wreck or a car accident before and they want you to get into one so like you can feel how they feel. Yeah, this could be somebody who's a big fat fucking liar. Okay. Or like they have been accused of being a big fat fucking liar before. So like this person may try to make people think that you're a liar. All right, in some type of way. Um, but you may be looking for mental clarity in the situation or you need to find mental clarity in the situation. You need to go do some shadow work as well too all right and this person needs to go do shadow work as well too but they're not um this person is very careless about their actions they don't give a fuck they don't give a fuck about nothing all right but this person will be coming towards you and i feel like yeah the unthinkable this person has been through unthinkable things or they will put you in a vulnerable position and make t the unthinkable happen towards you but two can play that game i feel like when you go within you do shadow work you take time to really think about it and process everything you will see this person's plan you will see what they're doing you will vi visualize who they are but you could be somebody who, like, you're pursuing their career or, like, this person is somebody who, like, either you work with them, you're pursuing a career, or they want you to pursue some type of career or something of the sort. You have a blank card here. Um, but, yeah, this person doesn't have to be a Capricorn, but, yeah, Polo G, we got that artist here. All right, but this person could also be somebody who feels like you're a false claiming or, like, what they're really the ones which is false. Yeah. This could definitely be somebody you work with, but I feel like territorial. This person could be territorial over you. I think that you're just, uh, they know that you're the one or they know that you're special or gifted or whatever it is. So this is like why they're doing this, why they're targeting you. Like, you know how you see a red bird and you've been seeing nothing but brown birds and blue birds and all the other, but then you see a red bird? You're the red bird, Aquarius. Like, weird. And they're the fucking bluebird. But it's like, bitch, I'm a red bird. That is not what I eat. That is not what I am. That's not my fucking lifestyle. Like, that's not me. Yeah, this person is like, they may know that you're very sensitive to certain environments and things around you. And they're using that to their advantage. Or they will be. Okay. Yeah, this is somebody here who also hates to see you happy. Hates to see you joy-filled. Or, like, if you have a man or you have a partner or, like, someone who makes you happy. Like, they fucking hate that shit. They fucking hate that shit. Or, like, they could be trying to ruin that as well, too. Like, or project onto you whatever problems they have regarding that. Um, but this is somebody here who, like, they think that you are weak. You're weak. You're forgiving. Um, you're spineless. Okay, this is definitely somebody in the community. Um... You could be even emotional to a certain degree, or they view you as this. Um, but you could be somebody here who, like, you're supposed to be indulging in life, having so the sweeter things in life, having your cake and eating it too, having an attitude of gratitude, like, not being rude or nasty or anything like that. And um, the projections are like, this is a nasty work right here. Like, yeah, and then seaweed, we have prediction. Like, for some of you guys, this is being predicted. Like, yeah, breathe, stay controlled, stay calm, cool, and collected. This person likes to see you out of sorts. They like to see you huffing and puffing or um, whatever it is. But I feel like diversity, like, you could be somebody here, like, you're not white. Or you're not, like, of corporate stature. Or you're not, like, you're indie, you're eccentric, um, you're a person of color. Um, you could definitely be somebody here who like you're racially ambiguous. Um, you are you have taboo beliefs or you're somebody here where like you don't believe in working a nine to five until you fucking die. Like that's just not your reality. Or you don't believe in like that honey, dinner's ready. And then you go to work, boom, you're up at work again. Hi, how do you then you're at home again. Hey honey, how's work? <laughs> like that same over and over and over and over fucking lifestyle fucking repeating ass shit like you don't believe in that or like that's not true that's not where your purpose is taking you like that is not like vibing with you resonating with you whatever it is and like this person fucking despises you for that and this is why they're projecting onto you i don't even know what i'm gonna title this but 
this person is a very dangerous individual and they will do whatever it takes to put you in a vulnerable position um to make you experience what they're experiencing to make you feel how they feel all right if they're in a bad mood they're going to make you be in a bad mood if they got into it with somebody they're going to try to get into it with you if they're experiencing things they can't control they're going to want to control you and your lifestyle and how you this and how you that whatever it is or if let's say they want to put, pursue like some type of regular as career or they want to get a bachelor's degree or whatever it is and you want to be somebody here who like you're talented and you want to take your talents and your skills and whatever it is and you want to take your chance in life all right to see if you can make something of that to see if you can you know whatever it is or like wherever your life is taking you wherever your path is taking you it's not the normal set out structuring that people or society tries to like make you become or make you be and somebody here who is like oh you think that you're special you think you better than motherfuckers i'm gonna break your spirit i'm gonna break your will i'm going to break that mindset i'm going to break you down like just give me that kind of vibe craze like i don't know what this is but that shit is like nasty okay um but yeah this is the reading i don't even know what else to say this is the reading um and i'll see you guys in the next one okay bye